In the NPHL, the Dawson Creek Senior Canucks are putting some distance between them and the Fort St. John Flyers in the battle for first. The Senior Seas won last night's match over Fort St. John 6 0. Canucks forward Evan Weaver got two goals and an assist, while netminder Josh Round stopped all 26 shots he faced for the shutout. The Senior Seas next play on Tuesday in Grand Prairie, while Fort St. John will host the Manning Comets on Saturday. Plans are starting to take shape for this year's Crystal Cup. The Pond Hockey Tournament will be taking place on Charlie Lake from February 23rd to 25th. Organizers say that they aren't planning to change much as far as the tournament is concerned, but they are hoping to bring more of a family atmosphere to this year's events. We've always had the kids rink, the public rink, and then uh, just a little couple things for kids to do. But what we want to do is make sure that when families come out, there, the little kids uh, have lots to do as well, and not just kind of watch the adults play hockey and have fun. So uh, make it more accommodating for all age groups. Evans says they don't have all the plans finalized yet, but he's looking to bring a horse-drawn sleigh ride to the lake. While the latest heat wave to hit the region might not make for perfect hockey weather, Evans says he isn't too concerned yet. The warm weather isn't hugely effective unless it's like really warm like it was last year where it, it was it was literally melting the entire surface heavily. A lot of the times it's plus two, plus three, it doesn't really affect us too much. Um, but it, it definitely is, is worrisome. It makes ice soft, makes it ship. But we, we do have a few strategies under our belt now after seven years in this uh, for fixing the ice and making it look good. Registration kicks off next Friday at Ernie's Sporting Goods in Fort St. John or at the Crystal Cups website. He's being called the Japanese Babe Ruth. He's a pitcher, he's a hitter, and now he's a Los Angeles Angel. Japanese two-way star Shohei Otani signed with the Angels today. It's somewhat of a surprise destination as most experts expected the phenom to land in either Texas or Seattle. But it will be Anaheim to play with perennial MVP candidate Mike Trout for Otani. The 2016 Japanese League, Japan, Japan League MVP feels that will be the best environment for him to develop and achieve his career goals. Quebec City will have to wait longer for the NHL to return. Seattle could see a team before another Canadian province. What we're doing is accepting Seattle's application. Obviously, there are a lot of differences between Seattle and Quebec City. A group in Seattle is applying for a franchise. Seattle will pay $650 million just to file the application. The ownership group includes TV and film producer Jerry Bruckheimer. Quebec City's last attempt turned down instead. The NHL added Las Vegas to the league. And now because it's Friday, it's time to check out the best plays of the week. Hit it, Lawrence!
Well, that's all the time we have for sports, but we're going to take one last look at weather with Eric uh, before we uh, take off. Eric, how do things look out there? Not too bad, Hugh. Let's look at that regional forecast one more time. Fort Nelson, minus 5. We're going to have a little bit of cloud coverage come up in the next couple of days. Hudson's Hope, 2 degrees. Just a mix of sun and cloud. And if we look across the map, we have lots of cloud coverage beginning to pour in. Those are going to carry on into the next couple of days. Fort St. John, 8 degrees, mostly cloudy. That's set to clear over the next couple of days as well. Chetland and Dawson Creek, also 8 degrees, a mix of sun and cloud. Dawson Creek and Fort St. John also hitting record highs today, so not looking too shabby. Tumbler Ridge, zero, a little bit of cloud coverage there. And if we look at Spirit River, six degrees, a mix of sun and cloud is expected. Same goes for Grand Prairie, a mix of sun and cloud. So we're not looking too bad, Hugh, over the next couple of days for sure. Warm temperatures, especially for this mid-December area, Hugh. Well, that sounds good. Well, uh, something we didn't cover tonight, but we covered earlier in the week. Apparently, the old-style Christmas is happening on uh, on Sunday, Eric, are you planning to check that out? Yeah, why not? Because there's the old sleigh rides and chestnuts roasting on an open fire, so that's going to be fun. And it's going to be warm temperatures, though, so we're mm. hoping that they are uh, going to be cleaning off Rotary Lake, so we're hoping that they are able to get it all ready, and hopefully the weather will play a factor, and hopefully they can go skating for sure. Definitely. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. Uh, tune in Monday night at 6. Have a good evening. Take care.